Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see about coupling constant that is J value or this is also called as spin spin splitting constant. This particular video is based on a CSIR net 2023 question. So the question is, consider the following compound where 3JAB and 3JBC represent three bond couplings between HA and HB and HB and HC protons respectively. The two different scenarios, one where JAB is less than JBC, the second one is JAB is equal to BC, uh, the multiplicity of HB proton respectively will be. So, uh, this is an organic molecule that is given to us and we are uh, given three different types of protons in this particular molecule and uh, in this particular question, we are not given any signals, we are just given uh, two scenarios, one scenario about the spin-spin splitting of uh, the signals due to A and signals due to B and C. That is we are going to observe the B proton because for A proton we do not have a problem because only B is the neighbor. Likewise for C protons we do not have a problem because only B is the neighbor. But whereas for HB protons we have HA on the left hand side and HC on the three uh, hydrogens on the right hand side. So, when we are seeing the signal of this particular proton, it is going to be affected by both HA and HC. So, if HA and HC are equivalent, then it means H, uh, J, uh, that is the spin spin splitting of due to A and B will be equal to the splitting due to C, that is the meaning of the second case. The first case is naturally this is not going to be the same as this. In that case, what could be the multiplicity of the signal? That is what we are asking. That is the HB signal will be split into how many types, how many numbers? What will be the splitting pattern of the HB signal under these two conditions? That is the question that is given to us. And then we are also given four options of what could be the possibility. So, first and foremost, uh, let us see some basic information about the uh, coupling constant. So, when we take up a coupling constant, one important point to remember is this n plus 1 rule. So, whenever we have a neighbor, like say for example, in this case, HA has a neighbor HB. So, the HA signal will be split into a doublet because of one, one proton in the neighboring. Uh, carbon atom. So, that is what is called as the n plus 1 rule. Similarly, when we talk about the three protons of the carbon, their neighbor is uh, Hb. So, all these three, the signal due to the three protons that is the methyl protons will be split into a doublet. So, HA will also be a doublet, HC will also be a doublet. Only thing is the intensities will be less, will be different in the sense HA will is due to one proton whereas HC will be due to three protons. So, now uh, when we are having a proton which have which is uh, you know surrounded by two different types non-equivalent protons, what could happen? So, the, the general thing is first uh, one set of protons will couple and then another set of protons will couple. So, that is how that would normally happen. But if in case their J values are same. That is what is written here. When a proton is coupled to two different neighboring proton sets with identical or very close coupling constant, the splitting pattern that emerges often appears to follow the simple n plus 1 rule or non-complex splitting. This is the point that we must remember. So, in our second case, what is said is JAB is equal to JBC. In the sense, it is like as though A and C are similar. So, in this case, we will follow the n plus 1 rule. So, having this as the basis, let us go back to the question. So, in the question, uh, we have been given two scenarios. The first scenario is JAB is less than JBC. So, the splitting due to AB is different from the, spl uh, 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 the splitting due to um, BC. So, 
because they are different we know that b has a neighbor as one proton so here the n plus 1 rule will lead to a doublet in this particular case and now on the other side it is having a uh, 3 proton so n is equal to 3 so on the other side it will be n plus 1 which is equal to 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 so uh, the hb signal will not be a single signal rather because it is clamped by it is surrounded by two different sets of protons first you will have a quadrant due to the methyl protons okay and this quadrant will be split into a doublet so that is what we see a uh, quarter sorry the quadrant of a doublets in the sense we will get doublets and then doublets will become quadrant so this is how this particular signal will branch out to next another case is assuming uh, j a is a b is equal to j b c in the sense both these coupling constants will overlap because their values are similar so it will follow the normal trend which is 3 for the methyl protons 1 for the a proton which is equal to 4 4 plus 1 because it is n plus 1 you get 5 so what we will get will be a quintet so in the second case we will get a quintet so in the given options that we have here um, the second case quintet is only for option number 2 and option number 4 so then uh, when we see the first case we see that um, option number 4 talks about a triplet of a triplet so there is no possibility of a triplet in the first case at all so four option is not the correct option second option only is the correct option wherein you have a quadrant of doublets so this is how we solve the problem thank you kindly like and subscribe to our videos